and let's see here. Uh, we should be on there. We go. We are uh, uh, on uh, being live streamed on the uh, Facebook page that we normally do this on. And hello to all of you. And nice of you to join me today. And uh, I think uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be OK. Let me see here. Let me just uh, uh, bring this down here. Get rid of that. There we go. And now I need to have, where is it, the all the participants here. There we go. And we admit them all. And we have quite a few of them. We're going to have some missing today. Shecky's not going to be here. I'll explain why in a minute. And uh, let's see here. We have Edward Berger and we have Len LaFrisco. Hello, Edward. That's right. Yes, right. And uh, Len LaFrisco, there we go. Uh, Mike Chisholm is here, of course, and Mandy, did I say everybody, Marjorie, whatever. What is that? Somebody's TV set or something or? Okay. Oh, what's May I be the first to say, Marjorie, welcome back. It's great to see you. <laughs> so hard to talk. Yeah, but she's, she's better. She could barely get her mouth open a couple of days ago, which made her useless. <laughs> anyway hello to everybody uh i'm i th this show i oh here what do you know i think he's this is our remote oh this is this is going to be interesting yes yes this is a remote <laughs> what, what what's happening rick you're in the you're in the emergency room still yes they just did an ekg they did just did an EKG. Didn't they do they one? They just on did an EKG. Okay. Didn't they do one the other day on you? Yes. They think and I've, got, I've got once more. Uh, where did I I'll put it in here? I've got a urine cup. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. He's in the. Uh, you tell him where you are exactly, Rick. NYU Langone Hospital in Long Island. And you're in the emergency room. Yes. Okay. I want to make sure that you're still in the emergency room. They, and they're gonna. They're waiting. They're waiting to put me in a room, a real room. What for? Staying for a while? Yeah. Why? Well, they're gonna have to give me the transfusion. Yeah. Make sure. It's okay. They want to do a GI or something or other. I don't know. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. But Whatever. This is this is overkill, isn't it? I don't know. This has got like somebody who goes into the hospital for a hangnail and comes out with a cancer operation or something well, like we'll that. We'll find out. Maybe I will. <laughs> well, you're having your adventure in the emergency room, and I had my adventure in the emergency room, which Marjorie had the same adventure because she was in the waiting room uh, in order to get a good case of COVID. That's right. Yeah. And uh, now where are you exactly? Are you your number three chair? It says. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Randy? Yeah, that's Randy. Hey, Randy. Hi, Randy. Hey, Randy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Randy has I been. I've got to. I've got to say that I. I only wish in my lifetime I had a friend like Randy. She has taken Shecky to the emergency room twice, and the first time it was like a seven-hour trip, right? Well, lengthwise. Yeah. Eleven hours, Randy says. Oh. <laughs> um, Randy, you are a gem. Yes. Say that. Um, and then on Wednesday, I have a new cleaning woman starting. Randy's going to go to the house and sit with the cleaning woman. <laughs> well, you, I hope you'll be out by then. I don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? I mean, what's you all, all you've got is anemia. Well, they're worried about internal bleeding or something or other. I don't know. <laughs> Are you peeing blood? No. Is there any blood in your stool? No. Is there any stool in your blood? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then it is Dr. Alex's opinion that you shouldn't be there this way. Well, and she ain't going to let me leave, so I'm just playing along now. Who's, who's not going to let you leave? Randy. Oh, she's not going to let you leave? 
No. And I need a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least she'll give you a ride home, not like Alex. <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute that is a reference to something that marjorie has been yelling at me about and that is true it's true alex. oh yeah sorry alex <laughs> uh it's one of those things that you don't forget i remember the time that i went in with a kidney stone and you didn't come with me to the hospital hello yeah you weren't going to the hospital when that happened what when you went to the emergency room, I stayed with you all 17 hours. No, you didn't. The last time, the last time, but the time that I had the kidney stone, I had to go on my own. That was before my time. No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was It was after you complained that I didn't pick you up from the hospital. Well, that's true. And I'm still holding that. <laughs> Oh, come on. Let's move on to the Queen's funeral. Much more important. <laughs> I just saw a picture of her horsey. On her the what? side of the road as the hearse goes by. Yeah. Her what? Her horse. Her pony. Her pony? Yep. Yeah. And the corgis look sad, too. They look so sad. Because they got to hang out with Edward now. Not Edward, <laughs> Andrew. And Andrew. Fergie. I didn't Andrew know they still Rudd. live together. They still live together. Yeah. Does Fergie still live with Andrew? And yep. two corgis now. <laughs> Why did he get the corgis? Why didn't he go to somebody else like Anne or He's the favorite. Edward or Edward? Or, you know, maybe because none of them wanted those lousy dogs. Yeah. What about the other dozen? Who gets those? Yeah, there are more than two. Yeah. Oh, they're just going to, they're going to gas them and bury them with her. <laughs> yeah. Mandy, did you watch the Queen's funeral today? Uh, well, I was watching it while I was getting ready for work and from like at lunchtime, it was still going on. Yeah. So yeah, I had to move on with my life. Sorry. Well, she's a, currently, I think she's going to turn into the vampire queen the way this is going. Yeah. What I want to know is, are they going to bury the crown and the scepter with her? No, no, no that, that goes, that goes to Char that's Char Charlie gets that. Oh, it's the same crown. Yeah, Andrew gets the corgis and he gets the scepter, the crown, and the orb. I just thought maybe he'd get his own crown. Yeah. Not oh. I think they use the same crown for the coronation. Yeah. Who was uh, in an interview that somebody did with the Queen, and it's been very few interviews with her ever. She said that the worst part about the coronation was wearing the crown because she said it almost snapped her head off. It's so heavy, mm -hmm. you know, that you can't lean down or go like this. You have to sit straight up. Otherwise, you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, well, I don't know. I it's just been too much of that, you know. I just I don't know. I mean, I I thought she was a wonderful queen. Uh she certainly was the queen of my lifetime. Uh the queen of every most of the people here were born after she became queen. For sure. Uh -huh. And 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 you know who hasn't said anything here? Mike Chisholm who lives in Canada. Yes, sir. And that's your queen. Yes, sir. Uh, things are changing and it's very funny watching people's reaction around and how, um, how little they're taking, they're, they're, they're taking it. Okay. So there was a holiday like for her funeral today that was announced very, very, uh, some would say haphazardly mm -hmm. and, uh, people are like, Oh, childcare and all these sorts of things. Really at the end of the day, our entire structure is built on as a country modern day country is built with these rules and stuff and and many times in my entire lifetime i don't think they've ever affected daily life and now it's an opportunity to examine those things and if we're as a country are going to stay that way or not but a lot of people are just up in arms about this whole thing because we uh had a sudden holiday about this our money's going to change all these things are going to change so it'll be interesting to see if the rest of the country decides to continue distancing ourselves from the monarchy well if they decide not to put the king on the money that would be a big change because hopefully we get wayne gretzky on there then 
the queen <laughs> the queen is on the money right up there she is on uh i don't know three of the bills i think she's on but she's on stamps she's on many stamps as well um all over the wait, place wait, like, wait a minute, hold on the hockey a arena wait which stop, i stop okay. a second stop a okay. second who uses stamps anymore <laughs> <laughs> you do yes well you still send little notes to friends and stuff that's very nice if you do no we actually still pay bills that way like i yeah. i did get as many things paid electronically as i can but there's still things i have to write a check for and mail not me i'm talking about my work yeah that's how i pay the umpires i, I umpire. had i had the uh the oh yeah really how much are stamps now 52 cents something 60 60. 60 60 so do you go and buy the forever stamps so that you can oh, yeah. that's a only seller forever stamps the, the, i couldn't even tell you the last time i bought stamps for myself last week <laughs> Wow. That's how I know the 60 cents. I just bought some last week. <laughs> Where do you get them? You can buy them at the grocery store, right? I get a post off. They have the machines, the kiosks, and you can yeah. put the credit card in there and get stamps. Yeah. Well, how boring would that be, though? You go into the kiosk and then you get your stamps and the queens on them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here you get like geese flying north, things like that, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, but with the queen on it, they're collector's items. The, are they? Sure. You have to be oh, dead. I'll make you bet. We're going to have a stamp with the queen on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet. Yeah. We're, we actually, have geese on our stamps too, but they're flying the one south. Not the one you're thinking. It's Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, 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 by the way, I'm I'm got a big pillow in the back of me today because my back has been killing me and mm. I don't usually have back problems. Marjorie's the one in the family who gets back. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get. There's no pity at all. You know what she did when I told her I had prostate cancer? <laughs> <laughs> or this one. She did this one, I think. Christopher, you have a polyurethation or Christopher, you have a polyurethation. Thank you. Okay, fine. I think that's my call. Calling Dr. <laughs> fine, calling Dr. Howard. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so today I found out I, I actually ripped myself off. Uh -huh. Well, every time I turn around, I find out I'm spending money on something I shouldn't. So when I got my new uh, thing at, uh, at, at Fios, the, my new package, it didn't come with HBO Max. So I told them, give me HBO Max. And I had them take away the stupid telephone that I had here, paying $25 a month for, you know, which is ridiculous. Hey, Rick, unplug some of your stuff and like them. they'll thank you a flat line. <laughs> <laughs> anyway so what i did what i did is i um uh, unsubscribed from the phone and then they charged me another 14.49 and 14.95 a month for hbo max which they weren't giving me in the package so for the last six months or so, i've been paying 14.95 a month for for HBO Max. Today, I go on to my uh, AT&T account just to see. I haven't looked at it in a long time, and I wanted to see what's there and so on and so forth. And it says there, get HBO Max on us. Oh. I could get it for free. So I signed up for the free one, and I just canceled the HBO Max with uh, my cable company. So my phone bill's going down by 15 bucks. Winning. Winning. Yeah. But I'm, I feel stupid that I I that I could have gotten that all along. I think I saw that I could get it last year, but it was part of my package. But now it's not anymore. So, and then I'm trying to I'm trying to cut the cord here, but doing that is just insane. Mm. And then I, got I had something that was part of my package once, but my wife made me remove it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Yeah, I still have a, a phone for a real reason. I have the biggest package at Verizon. Yeah. 
Anyway, yeah, I went to my, I went to my, I went to my, uh, Shecky, uh, why, yeah. why don't you just, uh, put, uh, kind of mute your microphone because we're getting all the doctor's things. There we go. And then when you talk, just un, undo it. It's not that we don't love you. What, what does it say up there above him? Some kind of number. Numbers, 1335F. Yeah. 1335S. Who knows what that is? Anyway, so um, I I went to my, uh, uh, is it last week, Marjorie, that I went to my oncologist, the guy who did the seeds on me? Yeah. Yeah. And they asked me some, they have a whole questionnaire at the very beginning about <laughs> what do you consider yourself? Male, female, binary, other. <laughs> then you have to fill in the blank, right? And I'm thinking, here's what they got to do, is they simply have to say, what was the sex assigned you at birth? There's no answer to that. Three answers to that question. And, and I saw one like that. Yeah, what were you going to say, Mike? That's uh, in the life insurance business. That's now what most of the forms are saying. Sex at birth. Okay. Sex assigned at birth. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Jeff may have his audio up. Uh, yeah. Sex assigned at birth, which is, you know, makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay. But uh, it, it had all these different things that I could, I could be if I wanted to. And then mm -hmm. the next part of the questionnaire was, how much do you pee a day? You pee at night. <laughs> Does it hurt when you pee? You know, I'm and I'm having to check. And does not happen. Does not happen. Does not happen. Then there was that name. list. Huh? I'm working on it. What the same <laughs> questions? The piss part. The piss part. <laughs> and then I'm supposed and to then, take the other. Then there's a stool part. I, so, well, I haven't been to that one. Yeah. Do you have blood in your stool or stool in your mm -hmm. blood or no, whatever? No, I didn't ask me that yet. They didn't ask you that. Yeah. And then, uh, uh, but I mean, I just, and then I see him. And so he says to me, so how's everything going? And I say, <laughs> well, it isn't going, but you know, I'm 82 years old. I got a lot of good use out of it and a lot of fun with it. And now that I can't get the same kind of enjoyment out of it, I once did. So what, you know? And uh, he went, well, that might come back. <laughs> and I'm thinking, I'm like I'll be 84 and I can get a get a get a stiffy. I mean, come on. Picture you have a gun in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So anyway, I went to him and he he says, "Sounds like you're doing fine." He says, "You probably won't get the cancer again." So. The yeah. cancer. They refer to it as blood cancer. Well, I said blood cancer. <laughs> Well, it wasn't isn't a cancer. I could get an a cancer, but you know, that's in the future. Oh, I do had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> oh, I, little Richard was yeah. going to do my show here in New York when I was with the WMCA, and he didn't show up. So I immediately called his people. And I said, where was little Richard? And he said he wanted us to tell you he couldn't make it because he had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. I can't even remember. I might have talked to him and he said it to me. I had a touch of the cancer. And went, wow. and so so every, ever since then, when anybody ever asked me about what happened with my prostate, I said, I had a touch of the cancer. <laughs> Yeah. Did you guys watch yeah. that Elvis movie? You know something? I have tried. It, it is bizarre. Is, yeah, um, I will give you that. Um, what, yeah. there was, what is it, Mandy? Huh? Wait a, minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Jeff has got audio coming through here. I got all kinds of problems today. <laughs> turn off your browser. You don't need your, you, all you need is your Zoom. You don't need the browser. I got all kinds of problems today. <laughs> you don't need you see, <laughs> turn down your radio. <laughs> oh, it, it looks like you found it, whatever it was. Yeah, 
Anyway, what were you saying, Mandy? Magic. I was saying that I had been putting off watching it and I actually canceled my HBO Max. What were you saying, Mandy? But then I saw that it was coming out. So hold on a second. It's back it. again, Jeff. Okay, I'm going to turn off and re reload. Yeah, but it, just okay. mute the, uh, now you're on. Just put on mute. Just, yeah, put just, put on just mute. mute yourself. See what you're doing is you are you were listening you're you were listening on the on the web to the show, and wherever you have that, you should just kill that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Back to Mandy anyway. and her review of Elvis. <laughs> it's it's just pretty bizarre. Like um, you just have to appreciate like the art of it. Um, I did like the guy that played him. I I thought there were some parts that were kind of sweet. Um, but there was a whole part with Little Richard where there was a guy that played him. And apparently... How about, how about, how about the guy that played Colonel Tom Parker? Tom Hanks? That whole... I didn't even realize that guy was... He gets worse and worse and worse. I saw him in that for a couple of seconds, and he was terrible. But yeah, man, if you want to see weird. terrible Tom Hanks, what should they watch, Rick? You don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Pinocchio. <laughs> it is horrible. Is it? Oh, a live action. Bad. What do you mean too bad? Who needs a live action Pinocchio? Yeah. Hey, hold on. I grew I up grew watching up that it. and the Disney book at home and all that. And, and, and so when I saw this, I'm like, I want to watch this with my granddaughter. Hopefully it's amazing. I have never Show seen the original Pinocchio. What were you yeah. saying, Mandy? I've never seen Pinocchio. I, when I saw the, the scenes for that, the trailer for that, I was like, you know, I've never seen Pinocchio. Like, I, what's the story even about? Like, what? It's, about a, it's about a marionette who comes to life. And uh, because uh, his, uh, his, his. He uh, wants a little boy or something? He wants, he wants to be boy. a boy. Oh, he wants, he a wants boy. to be a boy. boy. Oh, Here it's I, kind of played <laughs> like uh, Geppetto wants a boy. Yes, he lost a son or something like that, and now he okay. wants another one. Well, in the original Pinocchio, he wants to be a boy. Yeah, and uh, it's, I think it's a one of wouldn't you agree, Shecky? One of Disney's best films. Uh, uh, oh, it's a very well made film. In fact, I like. I told you the other day, this is brand to keep the brand into the Disney family. That's why they made it. They knew they were making it a crap. Hmm. Yeah, because the original film, the original book was done by, by a guy by the name of Coletti. A Coletti? Some some name like Coletti, that. Coletti. You say <laughs> Coletti, I say Coletti. But anyway, and and it was um it was a pretty um you know a, a, a decent film, but they didn't have to pay royalties at the time. All they hmm. had to do is make Pinocchio. So because it doesn't have royalties associated with it, they, I guess, made this live action version to kind of maintain their copyrights and their, uh, what do you call it, uh, um, uh, intellectual property rights. But, man, it is terrible, just terrible. And um, I didn't, I couldn't, I couldn't dig it at all, so. That was that, you know. Alex, then, did you like Tom Hanks as Walt Disney or as Fred Rogers? I liked him as Disney, as Fred yeah. Rogers, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think Tom Hanks has gotten to be a terrible actor. <laughs> you know, he really, it's time mm -hmm. to quit, Tom. Yeah. Well, that, the, the, the Colonel Tom Parker just, it was so cringy. I don't know. I, and I didn't know anything about that dude. I didn't realize he was... Country, like had no country you know like he was he was from uh, some the, foreign country i'm trying to remember which one do you do they, you, supposedly dutch yeah um uh, in fact i think part of my uh my uh, uh history with shecky is we went to graceland together and we went to uh yeah we went to graceland together are you there shecky yeah did you hear that yeah <laughs> so um so that's our history with Elvis. But 
Mm. I'm sorry, I was hearing about somebody vomiting in the waiting room. <laughs> <laughs> somebody vomiting where? In the waiting room. <laughs> You're not in the waiting room, right? Right? No, I'm inside. Yeah. yeah. The waiting room is when you come in and, you know, like, quote, sign in. <laughs> you know, it's amazing about your friend Randy. You know, she could leave, go home, do stuff she's got to do, and then come back later to pick you up. But well, I'm not leaving today. What? Yeah. I didn't realize that. I could go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, wait till they book you, they book him into a room. Okay. I don't know. This is as close as I'm ever going to get to have Randy on the Letterman podcast, so I'm excited about yes, this. It <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it sounds like you're making a plug for her to be on the Letterman podcast. Oh, no, that ship has sailed already, Alex. That's not happening. We've already been well. The boundaries have been built on that one. <laughs> you know who will do your podcast? Fred Braver. I spoke to him last night. Who will? Fred Graver, one of our old writers. Thank you, sir. I'll yeah. get you an email. Then he's I'll in the hospital, that. and he's still helping me build this show. Checking I'll, I'll, your I'll, mensch. I'll be on your Letterman podcast. Oh, I'd have you on in a second, Alex. I'll tell you my my Dave story. Yeah, I can't wait. Shecky's told me he walked, your Dave story. He, I can't wait to have you tell it. Let's he do walked, it. I, all I know is that he, I was told by Shecky he walked by me. And then he looked at, uh, he told, said to Shecky, isn't that guy on cable? Something like that, right? Pretty much. Yeah. And yeah. then he sent someone to check to make sure I wasn't dead. <laughs> make sure you weren't dead? Yeah. That you hadn't killed me. That I hadn't killed you? Yeah, because you were doing one with Steve Gruberg the night before. I think I was the top. Oh, I see. He saw me on Gruberg's show. Right, right. Yeah. That's the worst the place. Raunchy the Raunchy show. The Raunchy show. The Raunchy Show. Yeah, it, it, that's a show that you don't want to appear on unless you wanted to get a bad reputation, and I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, and he saw that. And so he then learned when he was with him, and he didn't know my history. That, uh, you know, that I was a, I, I was a big shot in New York. Used to be. Kind of was. Not exactly. Um, before I met you, huh? Oh, no, that's way before you met me. That was the time when you were waiting on my table at Max's. <laughs> it was 1982. Yeah, it must have been. You must have. I think you must have waited on my table. I had to. I worked the back, the back end where the bar was. Uh huh. And yeah. that was my location. That was my area. So I'm sure I served you. Well, there was a back room, kind of. In the way yeah. in the back, you were. Yeah, was. Well, I uh, did. I give you a tip. Did you tip well? I don't yeah. remember. You don't remember? Then apparently <laughs> I didn't. I always tipped well. No, that was that was a, a good thing on my part. But anyway, so we got uh, you know we got the queen, and she, they haven't buried her yet, you know. And if she were Jewish, two days. <laughs> that's it. You know, but that's why I guess the queen, uh, they just take forever to bury their people. If she was Muslim, she'd have to be married, be, be, be buried in a day. So. But what if what if it's in a war zone, zone, though, and you're a Muslim and you get killed and they can't get to some safe place to bury you? Is there can you can you it go just, a couple it, of days? Just leave it, Alex, you just leave the body. Just leave the body. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It'll bury itself with bombs. Going. Exactly. Uh, let me see here. What else? What else is new? Hmm. Have we been watching anything interesting, Marjorie? Did you tell them about all your ailments? Are we finished with that? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know, and then we can go to movies. You and know TV. something. For, for somebody who is ill all the time, you were terribly unsympathetic to someone who is ill occasionally. Occasionally, but never lets me forget it. <laughs> oh, boy. Why couldn't you have saved this discussion for our walk through the park the other day? We would have gotten better numbers. <laughs> I get blamed for everything. Yeah. 
We'll never do what we did a couple of weeks ago. We did 1,600 views to that thing. Yeah. 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 I'm going to look at a house today. You went to wow. buying a house? Yes. I'm in the market to buy a house. So I went at lunch and looked at one, and I'm going this afternoon after I leave here to go look. Congratulations. Why, after all, have you always lived? Have you ever, have you ever owned a home that you were no. in? No. So, mm-hmm. not by myself. So you've always rented. That's the way I've been. I've always rented. Well, I mean, I owned one with my ex-husband. Oh, okay. Not- okay. But not on your own. Right. So you, because you have had a home in the past with mm-hmm. ex-husband, mm-hmm. Uh, you then want to get yourself a home now. So you feel. Yeah, I've been in this apartment almost four years. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, how long have Three you been, How long have you been separated from your husband? um th- three and a half years oh really i thought it was longer than that for some reason it was the beginning of 19 yeah yeah was it a a a, a, a decent breakup or was it one fraught with all kinds of accusations no it wasn't it was i guess as amicable if it, as you can have and we had the same attorney we didn't you know we just went sat down and hammered it out and that was it I was wondering, I'm just wondering how, if you had the same attorney, does he argue your case and then move to the other chair and argue his? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only if you're in agreement that you can share. Yeah. So, it, it, but you were in agreement, and I guess the kids were out of the house by then, right? Yeah. Yes, they were in co- there, but they were both in college. Yeah. So really, there's no reason to stick around if you aren't going to stick around for the kids. If you finally decided that, hey. This is the way you were when you were first married, and now you're older and you don't have the same things in common anymore. Yeah, it, it was it was kind of bad. I mean, he wasn't exactly happy about it, but he's fine now. He's moved on, so he's, he's moved, good. Was that what do you mean by moved on? He found a girlfriend. What? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's what's moving on is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, well, who decided they? Can I uh, tell me if I'm getting too personal? Here. <laughs> okay. okay. How many times a week did you have sex? No, no. I, I was... <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. But um, who who filed for a divorce? Who wanted the divorce? You, I guess. I wanted it, but he actually filed. How's that happen? You would think well, you would file. and Because we were going to go to counseling and stuff, but then he met his girlfriend. So then he was <laughs> uh, by the way, dear, I no longer have to go to marriage counseling. I found a girlfriend. Yeah, that was, it is fine with me. I, I was, I was okay with it. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, uh, you, you're, uh, you know, I, I, uh, you're, a, you're a catch. If you want to get married again or find somebody or whatever, I'm sure. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Who was that? Your ex? There's one right there. That guy. (laughs) Go get that guy. Real estate agent. We're Uh, going to look. Oh, he's the real estate agent. (laughs) Maybe more. (laughs) Maybe more. (laughs) But uh, anyway, so you you just let's get off this subject. (laughs) Oh, okay. We'll get off. (laughs) Ah. But uh, anyway, you know, I just think that people, uh, the idea that you you have one marriage in your whole life is kind of rare if you think about it, you know, because what you were when you were, say, 18 and you got married or 21 and you got married and then what you need in life once you hit 40 or even 50, you know, yes, Charlene. I've been married for 41 years. Really? Mm-hmm. And you don't feel the two of you have, have changed at all? So- well, yeah, we have. And we've been through a lot, but. Okay. We well, just you know, support each other and yeah, that's yeah I mean, we're, still, we're still in love. Well, yeah. Bless you. That's wonderful. <laughs> that's wonderful. Cause I hate Marjorie already. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's us. <laughs> and then there's you guys are goals. <laughs> but, that's but, sweet. No, but what happened was, is that, that, um, uh, it's really nice when that happens because you do have a tendency to grow differently, but because mm-hmm. here's the reason why usually in a more older traditional marriages, he went to work, you stayed at home and took care of the house. Okay. Uh, that was an old 
thinking because it was based on an agrarian system in which the man worked the fields and the woman took care of the house, right? And But it was a joint operation. As time went on, husband went to the city to work and you know, wife stayed at home in the suburbs and took care of the house. And even if she went somewhere else to work, the influences that come into your life are two different sets of influences. And so you start to grow apart. And I think that if you have a situation in which both of you are, have you have you kind of been in the same environment all the time so that you grew up? So the influences that made you both grow, you both came into contact with or what? Um, you know what? We grew up really different kind of types of families mm -hmm. and just totally different. But we we met we I mean, we were to we've been together ever since the day we met and um, it just just worked out. I mean, it was just, we fell in love with each other. And like I said, we've been through, you know, different things, but we're, we still love each other and we're still together. We still have our kids and our grandkids and we're happy. For those but, out there who think ideal relationships are the answer, let me ask you this question. <laughs> do, you uh -oh. argue, do you argue? Yeah. Okay. See, because some people feel, oh, we had an argument. That's it. It's over with. No, that's the thing. If you never argue, that's when you should yeah. work. That was me and my ex-husband. We, he just, she would shut down. Like if there was ever a problem, he'd run away. He just didn't want, he wanted to avoid everything. So, yeah. And, and that probably made you yell at him more because. I did. It was kind of the same way. We turned away from each other. It was, oh, really? Because I would, yeah. my tendency would be that I would get kind of nastier to try and evoke a reaction out of him. I'm sure we're all surprised about that. Yeah. <laughs> what? With me? <laughs> I haven't changed. I'm a gem to live with. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, okay, well you know, I'd say, can this marriage be I, saved? Yeah. And, and where's it going to go if it, if it doesn't stay? What were you going to say, Mandy? I was just saying, I wasn't trying to get us on such a serious subject. I was just saying, I'm going oh, to look This isn't a serious subject. Divorce <laughs> is one of the fun subjects, you know. Um, Edward, I, so I can drive to this place to go look at this you house. You know, we never ask Edward anything. But Edward, oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm really here for emergencies. <laughs> I think the reason I never ask him questions is because he will talk. And that's... Uh, but now let me ask you this. Um, um, are you married? No. Have you ever been married? Nope. Really? Well, that answers that question. So oh. you, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that that's it for this week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Len LaFrisco, we know, is married, right, Len? Sorry, my wife came through. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. How long you been? How long you been together with your wife? Okay, so we married in fifteen, but we knew each other when we were seventeen in high school. We uh, dated a little bit in high school. Then uh, you know, I moved away. She moved away. I found her in two thousand and nine. Forty, thirty-five years later, oh. I sent her a little email. Hey, how you doing? She said, "Great, living in Connecticut." got three kids, married. I'm like, oh, okay. And uh, then she says, the next letter is, by the way, I have the divorce papers on my end. I'm actually getting divorced. I'm like, oh, my divorce was final two weeks ago. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Boy, you, yeah. you, you didn't even let any time pass. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, that's not true. I was dating somebody, and I told her after she got out of her relationship, even though I wanted to be with her, I told her to go out and date a little bit. And she did, she did, and um, it was uh, it was good. She you know met somebody, had you know six month uh, relationship with somebody else, and then I I moved her out here in twelve, and we got married in fifteen. So wow, that's wonderful. What yeah. a wonderful story. story. Yeah, that's a sweet yeah. story. It, it is. Yeah. I always oh, wonder, uh, Mandy. Mandy. Mandy's yeah. got to go. She's got to go spend money on buying a house. Oh, <laughs> I'm stressed. I don't even. I want to. I know I need to do it, but I'm scared. 
Oh, it'll be well, fine. You just come back to this is this is your your you know your uh, therapy session. Therapy <laughs> session. Right, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, don't don't buy the first house you see. Buy one you <laughs> live in. You know. And then make sure it has an extra bedroom so Marjorie and I can come and stay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. See you okay. next week. Bye-bye. See bye. you later, bye, Mandy. Bye-bye. Bye, Good Mandy. luck. Bye. bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. So anyway, mm. and uh, Mike Chisholm, how long have you been married? Uh, well, we got married on leap day. So the math is, uh, <laughs> is, is uh, sliding on this one. Uh, but 10 years. <laughs> 10 years. See, Marjorie... Uh, uh, proposed to me on leap day mm -hmm. uh -huh. because no that's supposedly like the day that women can <clears throat> ask women to men to marry them yeah. yeah i believe it was the leap day that i got married it was on in 12 right uh yeah that was a leap year y yes mm -hmm. but i think what when when, when the we... next leap year after that four 16. years later no oh, 2016 okay when did we when did we get married Two thousand. <laughs> It was after that date. What was the next date for leap year? 2012, what? then 2016. That's when we got. That's when we. No, got it married. wasn't. No, we've been married more than. I'm that. pretty Shecky sure because Shecky was the first person to see us when we were married. Do you remember what year it was, Shecky? No, it's when we went to see Napoleon. Yeah. So that was when. Well, Letterman was still on the air, so it was probably 15 or. It would be probably 14 or maybe maybe it was march of 15. no oh, i mean we god bless <laughs> i've been married 10 years we've been yes. married 11 years marjorie it's a blur so how many years back is that 22 what? is back in 11 so yeah, that's only i think she i think in 2008 which was a leap year she proposed yeah. to me but uh, it still took us another year or so to go yeah. out and get married that that's sense. what it was that makes sense yeah yeah so you were still 32. At XM. Yes, we, we, yes i was at sirius xm and and <coughs> uh, we went out to go see the movie napoleon silent film and shecky met us there mm. and we had gone up to lake tahoe and got oh, married all mean. right and when we saw shecky we said guess what and he said you got married Ah, <laughs> remember that, Shecky, when you said that? Yeah, yeah, he said ah. you got married, and he was right, of course. But he suspected that we would do something like that, you know. Ooh. So I got married. Uh, where did my parents get married? I think they got married either in Reno or Lake Tahoe. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, wow, yeah. So it was, uh, you know, and we've been happily married since, uh, let's see. Uh, About 2021. <laughs> <laughs> but who's counting? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, what else? Uh, what else is uh, new? I'm really missing. We're missing Paula today because Paula has what? A dentist appointment. A dentist appointment. Mm. And uh, please, I want to remind you, if you're going to go to emergency rooms or you're going to go have a dentist appointment, Make sure you do it at some time that doesn't co that it does not happen at the same time that this show is on. No, just or go see a house viewing. Just take a couple with you. <laughs> yeah, but she she called anyway. And then I got Steve Bender said he was sorry that he wouldn't wasn't calling today because he's had some medical problems. And mm -hmm. uh, so we all yeah. have medical problems. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You changed your background, Jeff. Yeah. I know my wife is uh, sister is showing up instantaneously. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, gotta make everything look perfect. Well, she's right. got to make everything look perfect. Well, so Jeff, so Jeff were you not going to happen? <laughs> so Jeff, were you moved into another room? Is that it? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Got lots of rooms. And plus downstairs, there's a whole, you can actually live down there. Some friends of ours lost their, uh, they sold their house and they bought, but they were buying a new house and they couldn't move. Wow. So they were like, I think two months out of business. 
Wow. Uh, so I said, well, go live downstairs. Nobody else goes there. Yeah. You got the whole place. So they had a great time. So your wife has to clean up before her sister comes over. I was doing a lot of cleaning up. Well, Marjorie does that all the time when somebody's coming over. Oh, let's yeah. clean up the guest room. What, what? You don't have to close the door. You don't have to let anybody in there. Yeah. Oh, well, we got to clean that up. Yeah. Got to clean up. So this is better putting the pillows back. Yeah. Marjorie is a, you know, when I was a bachelor, here was a wonderful thing about being a bachelor. Oh, and I think all you guys will agree with this. When you got up in the morning, how long did it take you to make the bed? <laughs> who made, who made right the right fucking away? bed? Two days? <laughs> oh, two, three days. Right. <coughs> you know, I just lie in the bed with it all on <coughs> and everything. Wait, Marjorie, you didn't as Scarlet. soon as noon hits every day, she says, <laughs> let's make the bed. And I'm oh, lying in the bed. It. I'm enjoying it. I've got the covers over me. I'm watching something. But no, now she's got to make the bed. So then I play cat. You know, <laughs> like, I refuse to leave the bed. Okay. Yeah. And she has to make it over me. You ever have a cat when that happened? And they just won't get out from under the when you're trying to make the bed, they won't get out from under the sheet. So you make the bed <laughs> with the cat in it. And then the cat gets really pissed at you. Yep. And hisses. 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 <laughs> Which by the way, I do a great don't I do a great cat hiss? Yes, you do. Yes, because you most do. people think cats go or but no, they go. <laughs> <laughs> You know, my, my when she's my trying wife, to make the bed, I just lie there going. <laughs> my, my my wife's a real cat person, and when the cat would be doing something she didn't want it to do, she'd hiss at, and cat would freaking run away. That's, they, <laughs> under, they understand it. They know that that means get the hell out of here. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I ever did that to my cats, but uh, no. But I have to try it on you, Alex. I had a Siamese, <laughs> I had a Siamese cat once. That thing with Siamese cats is occasionally. Anybody here ever have a Siamese cat? Any of you people? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, they go crazy. <laughs> they have a hissy fit. Do you ever have that happen with them? And they go into like the bathroom or whatever. And if you go into the bathroom, they go, yeah. you know. And um, you have to wait for them to cool down. You can't do anything about it. Now, I don't know any other cat that anybody's ever had. I had cats that weren't Siamese. None of them did that. But the Siamese had this little screw loose in their kitty head, and they just go crazy. And I, we were kept out of the bathroom for we had to pee in the sink. I mean, it was. <laughs> it, it, yeah. Am so I did you get rid of them? Huh? Did you get rid of them? Nah. No. no, I love the cat. He was the best cat I ever had. Yeah, he was my Zen master. He you got know. rid of Alex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, my cats lived to be. He lived to be eighteen years old. Ooh. And uh, most of my other cats lived to be pretty old. You know. So, but uh, I don't know. I, I one thing Marjorie would like to get a cat, and the thing that I hate about getting a cat is. It's so depressing when they die, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 I think I probably grieved more over the death of my, of Shabbos, who was that 18 year old Siamese cat, who had been with me through thick and thin and everything, you know? Uh, he would look at every woman I would bring in the house like, well, I've seen them come and I've seen them go, but I'll still be here. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I just, you know, when I lost him, you know, I really lost a decent part of my life, you know, and I don't know if I could go through that again. We'll try it. Well, the newest thing is if I get a cat now, well, I will, I don't want cats in this apartment because you like to open the windows. And if you open the windows, they're going to jump out and fall eight floors. Well, that's the problem, Alex. Well, well I don't want to gonna... have to go scrape a cat off the pavement once a week. <laughs> you know uh and plus the fact that a cat will then look at me like as opposed to my other cat when i've seen him come and i've seen him go he'll go 
you know, long after you're gone, I'm still going to be here. <laughs> so you've never had a pet, have you, Rick? No. Um, have you ever thought about it? I had a dog went until like 1972. Okay, but and yeah, a, but it was you like, know, and, a, and a canary and yeah. trouble fish, you know. Now you notice I didn't ask Shecky has he has he ever been married because I know the answer to that one. You managed to avoid that all your life. Is it, it? Do you think it's maybe a selfish streak in you, or what? What? Why do you think? Like I went, I got married four times. I could really go to one. I would say no. so big. Well, I think I told you my friend. Kathy started calling everybody I've ever met to tell them about my problems. And it's like, I don't want, you know, any well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I mean, what, what, what's the reason you've never gotten married? Just never met the right person or never thought that that was something you wanted to engage in? Well, I worked at Letterman and that was, you know, a full-time job. Yeah, and that was kind of your life. Yeah, uh, well, I, um, you know, I think about I married four times and uh, each time for a different reason. The first time the woman was pregnant and then she had a miscarriage on her wedding night. Thank you very much, folks. Well, they That's say. The in my life. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then uh, let's see here. Then this. So that was doomed to failure. And then the second one was Ronnie. You know, and we were married for quite a while, actually. What's quite a while? About nine years. Yeah. We've passed that, Alex. <laughs> I know we have. And then I was married to uh, I was married to Susan, and that was for about eight years, maybe. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So I mean, it was it was uh, you know I I. I, I just kept doing it till I got it right. And I got it right. Ah. <laughs> nice. That's so sweet. Well, that will give Good me answer. that will get me a free <laughs> dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, but you know, I mean, I I just um it, I think probably Shecky has had the right idea. You know, this is not something you jump into. But I've always been this kind of romantic, and I always felt that it would you know, it would, it would work, you know, and Marjorie, when she proposed to me, my answer was a very romantic answer back, which was, um, I can't say any reason why not. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this marriage has been more successful than any of my others. So and the longest. Well, also because I think I've matured, you know, I mean, I should have never gotten married to those other people in the first place. You know, it just was not the right reasons. And then, of course, I had Ronnie, who left me. Are you ready for this, folks? For Troy Donahue. <laughs> and I said to myself, that's maybe the corniest thing that's ever happened to me in my life. She left me for Troy Donahue. And then when she got there, he didn't want her. But, you know. Would you rather it have been Phil Donahue? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so, so it was, uh, you know, had a had a, fit, a fruitful life that way. So anyway, let me see here. What else is happening that we haven't talked about? Oh, that's Except for the Queen, it's been a slow news week. <laughs> Except for Puerto Rico. Well, you see, it's, yeah, and, well, it's and again with the hurricane. Yeah, it's been a slow news week primarily because they were all reporting the Queen and they just weren't looking for anything to gin up. Yeah. But now yeah. that she's gone, we're going to be back to, oh, you know, uh, the, the, the special master or whatever it is. That oh, God. You know. Did the hurricane also go to Haiti? I think so. It looked like it was headed that way. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a ter terrible world. To it is. Have that happen. Well, I mean, it, 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 but that's, you know, you, 
everywhere you live, you live with some kind of condition. I mean, I lived in California, and what was the main condition at that time? Earthquakes, although now it seems to be wildfires. Yeah. But then it was earthquakes. What do you think, Mark, your mic isn't on? Yeah, but you survived, and most people did, right? Mexico had a seven-point-something earthquake today. Where who? Mexico. Mexico, yeah. But, I mean, uh, we used to get, you know, we, we got our share of earthquakes. I mean, and good, really good ones, but uh, it, it's earthquakes. If you live in the Midwest, it's tornadoes. If you live in uh, Florida, it's hurricanes, you know, it, it, all these different things, cyclones el elsewhere. So they're all these climatological situations. It's just that they've gotten worse because of this whole global warming deal. Yeah, that's true. And... Uh, um, but I, what do you have up in uh, Mike? What do you have up in Canada? Well, where we are, the wildfires have <clears throat> have have definitely been a part of it. Like this year was pretty good, but last year was absolutely awful as well. So very similar to what California is going through. And that and and having Justin Trudeau. Yes. Yeah, man. It's uh, <laughs> there's a, there's a lot of bile being thrown that guy's way right now. It's pretty crazy. What do you think about the idea that he happens to be mick jagger's son yeah uh well then there's also fidel castro potentially oh really well. fidel castro yeah. yes that was it yeah, yeah. well mark yeah. trudeau i like mick jagger's a sexier story though i kind of like the idea that our prime minister is the son of a rolling stone that's kind of neat didn't the margaret <laughs> didn't margaret trudeau go with mick jagger for a short time that was the uh that's the scuttlebutt yeah that's the scuttle, but and supposedly she went down to see Castro at some point. Yeah, that's the one that a lot of people are. If there's a conspiracy theory that's kind of made its way around up here, similar, that, that's that's probably the biggest one about Justin. You know, uh, Mia Farrow in an interview she did in two thousand, I think two thousand three, kind of admitted that there was a good chance that what's his name was Frank Sinatra's son. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. We haven't seen him around lately. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, you know. Ronan Farrow. Ronan? Is it Ronan? Ronan Farrow. Yeah. Ronan Farrow. Right. Yeah. And supposedly he sings well, too. He's a good singer. Hmm. So who knows? Who knows? You know, but. Uh, that's about it. That's about it. I haven't, got, I haven't got that much to talk about this week. <laughs> you know? Uh, because well, we I think there's still a little bit of Trump going around. Is that kind <laughs> of like, like syphilis? Yeah. Kind of like the same thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a... <laughs> I, yeah, like I have a slight case. <laughs> I have a slight case of the Trumps. <laughs> a bout of cancer and a bout of Trump. The we Trump cancer. About pools. You know, so we should seven hundred home runs. And next time you get diarrhea, just refer to it as the Trumps. It seems to. Work. <laughs> and I've got a bad case of the Trumps. <laughs> you know. uh, but it's uh, so we had a you know we've had a we've had a boring week with the Queen constantly. You got up at five this morning, Marjorie, to watch the funeral. You know, and and, and it, she's still dead. By the way, I want to let you know that you could have waited till now, and she's still dead. Um, in fact, do we really know she was in that coffin? <laughs> <laughs> And I don't think there was a single incident, was there? Any kind of incident of anybody doing anything nasty or mean or whatever around? Just the one, the one guard that face planted while he well, was. Oh, oh, he, yeah, he. I would too. Yeah. I mean, what a boring job for crying out loud! Right. You know, you know of all the times that she's on TV. Yeah. Like now and before, when yeah. she was alive and all of that. The best time that I ever saw on TV is when she got whatever you call it accepted uh she was what 25 years old or something? Yeah. the coronation you remember the coronation, coronation. you remember seeing and I was coronation. like 
I think I was 13 or something at the time. And Somebody mentioned, and it's a, it's a good, uh, good thing, actually, to be honest with you, that um, the beginning of television, Yes, it was really there. her coronation that that was the incident that made people want to go out and buy TV sets. And after yeah. that, TV just zoomed forward. And that they then say that this is the end of television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's getting true. Because, you, you know, consider it, uh, yeah. it's not, you're not watching TV anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and and this, this really wouldn't have made a good podcast. You know. No. <laughs> anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time. And uh, Marjorie is wearing her matronly glasses there, those green glass. I don't know why she buys green glasses, but she does. Matronly. Good looking lady, that's why. Oh, I listen, she for her age, she's a she's a good looking broad. Uh and uh Charlene, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And thank you. Uh, Mike Chisholm, thank you. And thank peace you. and love, get better, Shecky. Yeah. Len LaFrisco. Thank you, Len. We appreciate it. And uh, 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 Charlie Wallace, always nice to have you here, Charlie. Uh, Jeff Stein and direct from what was it? Langone? What is it? What? Uh, what's the hospital? NYU. They're experimenting on them. NYU, NYU Langone. <laughs> yeah, NYU Langone out in uh, out in uh, where? Acid. Where's Manhattan? No, no, no. It's, no, it's over by um, Costco. It's on. It's, oh, okay, it's, on, it's, on, it's on, it, wrong one. Okay, <laughs> it's uh, Langone near Costco. Uh, <laughs> they just want to run out and buy something. And in the whole time he's been sitting there, nothing's happened to him. No, nothing. That's how it is, Amber. They keep you there for five days, and then they get to you. <laughs> And finally, to say a final goodbye to all of us, ladies and gentlemen, will be our sign off with Edward Berger, who says, That's all, folks. Okay. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.